In his starring role in Order of Death, he plays, as the publicity blurb puts it, a pale asexual freak, a psychopath who becomes embroiled in a series of cock killings. Here, he's become the temporary captive of another neurotic psychopath. This one, though, happens to be a policeman. choose to do this particular film? Because I read the book and I liked it. It's a very violent book and the film's a very violent film. What was it about it? What was it in it that appealed to you then? Guilt, greed, confusion, just humanity. Just average people, I suppose. Guilt, greed, that's all average stuff, is it? Oh, yeah. The transition from being a, a, a punk rock singer to a film actor, an easy one to make for you? Same thing, isn't it? You tell me, is it the same thing? I just said so, yes, it is. What do you do now? You've now, you've now got a, got a new group. You've now made a film. Are you going to make more films? Probably. I hope so. Decent ones. All violent. All violent? More violent, did you say? Oh, yeah. That's, that, is that, what, is that, is that what's, what, what makes a decent film, then? Well, that'll do for me. All right. Cheers, I can't be bothered. And so Mr Rotten made his excuses and left. But the film Order of Death opens in London on November the 3rd. He's in it under the name John Lydon, which happened to be his real name. But don't let that worry you. Underneath it all, he's still the same old Johnny Rotten. Christopher Rainbow, Thames News. Well, how do, folks? Charming young man.